Welcome back. Today we're jumping into Pacific Drive. Pacific Drive is a supernatural survival game. I've been keeping an eye on this one. I was very interested and I want to check it out. So now that we got it, let's just jump right into it. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula and established the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. What happened in sight was never disclosed. So what's up with these guys? They went and opened up all kinds of portals, crazy experiments. Oh, they went over their head. It's a nice looking world. Stay on the roads. It's raining. Oh, we got wipers too. Alright. It's pretty cool. Pretty nice. Nice little area, you know? A lot of wood line here. Get some fresh air. A little bit of rain. Really nice. Setting up the atmosphere. So I don't know much about this game. I don't know if we need we need to like maintain the vehicle or have like uh having to put gas and stuff like that, you know? Oh man, I almost, almost ate it there. The lights turn on. I gotta go here. Oh, and lights, bro. There we go. Oh, what's this? Quarantine zone. What's this blocked off? Rocks. Oh, what? What is this? Look at this. What is that? Is that a guide? Like it's. I guess we're in the right path, right? Like that's what he's doing, like guiding us. Kind of looks like those portals from um, Control. Whoa, the lights blew out. You followed here or what? What's going on? Oh, see that rock? Uh oh. Hello? Oh, what the hell? Jump out, bro. Traveling. We got sucked into a wormhole. The Olympic exclusion zone. Oh, this is what he was telling us about, right? Oh, look at this. Can I grab it? Sprint. Okay, can we crouch? Wow, we could crouch. Look, there's our engine right there. So it, it blew the whole freaking car apart. What is this, man? Radiation? It's gotta be, right? It's freaking glowing. It's green. Doesn't sound good. I'm getting headaches off of it. Over there. Let's get out of here. Get to safety. All 
Okay, well, well, it looks like we're good now. What the hell's going on? Look at that wall. What the hell is going on? What the hell are they experimenting with? That's what I want to know. Kick. Yeah, it's got to be some type of radiation every time Hello? we get close to it. Someone out there? Hello? Hello? Uh, what a swan. I... Uh, never mind. Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. What? Who's saying that? The car? Malik? Pick up. Okay. Get up, man. Oh, gotta leave it pressed. Stall. Okay. Oh, we got a, got a car missing a door. It's pretty raggedy. Look at this. Little shagging wagon. You know? We got the old Griswold family car. Let's get in it. Does it work? Turn on. All right. Yes, it's back. It's back. This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Do you read me? I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around Sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. Yo, who's that? Who's that talking? We, 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 we got contact for sure. Yo, what's up with Big T? Hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Yo, Hello? yo, yo. I do. Hello? Is this thing working? They, they, they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. But if they're stranded, could they mean they're from outside? They're a preacher? Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. Oh, and so we're we behind the wall. We, we got teleported over. Either. That's oh, a what? good point. Hey, hey, you're in serious danger. The instability is closing and in, fuel? and it's going to scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Your closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can and be quick about it. Well, I, I don't know what the hell's going on, man. Get me out. Get me out. Siphon fuel. Where's the jerry can at? What's this? Take fuel can. What the hell? Bro, we're gonna have to siphon this with our mouths, man. We're gonna take this out. Here we go. <laughs> Damn! I shouldn't have eaten the mint first. Let's fill that up. Oh, I gotta keep looking at it. Oh, that sucks. I would like to look around. That's it. Oh, what the hell's going on? Get in, brother. Oh, we need to get out of here. This is not good. Whatever it is, th this is not good. Whoa, 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 wait, hold the phone. There it is again, that blip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? Oh, man, you see that thing? That thing was trying to eat us. A remnant? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy crap. Remnant? No one's had work and wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'm killed to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the preacher needs to get to see. Oh, man. looking at whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. Come on, come on, come on. Back, baby. We're taking damage here. 
How do I... Bro, I'm spinning out of control here. Yo, this is kind of crazy, but kind of realistic, you know? Like the mud and everything making us spin out of control. Where do we go? To the right. There's lights over there. Let's go over there. Just to go east. Well, I think we're going the wrong way. Oh. Oh, no. We lost a tire? Oh, well, we're going to find a way. What are we doing? Clear the park. Turn it off. Open. Are we good here? Or is that thing going to keep attacking us? There's a door right here. Hello? Let's close that. Hello? Nobody here. It's empty. So I flipped the breaker. Where the hell's the breaker? Right here. Nice little workshop, a nice little station here. I, I, I think this will do. Who is there? Oh, the shop. God, it's been breached. You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I. Ow! Oh, my head. Uh, it's a, it's an emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We sent a preacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car, and, well, uh... Oh, you real. You the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super official zone business. Protocol, uh demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written that's 10 years and 17 volumes and... Tell her that voice, because like a nail gun to the skull. So, <sighs> another breach, huh? What? How Look up the mechanics I hit it hanging by the map. That Arda didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun. Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait. I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing and I'd kindly like you what? to get the hell out of my zone. What are you talking about, lady? Unfortunately. The barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. <laughs> Talking bad trash. All right. We got that. Replace door. Where's our door at? Dumpster, huh? Oh, that's what that came out of there? Okay. Let's take that. So I'm assuming we use this to cut this off, maybe? Get all the scraps, right? All right, all right. So we need the saw. To collect all the scraps. Got it. Thought I heard a noise. Here we go. Scrap metal, plastic, duct tape, glass shards. Craft. Okay, that's cool. All right, we got a door. All right, that was easy. 
Voila. We're looking good. Car's looking pretty nice, pretty shape. And let's do that. Let's put some putty on that. There we go. Oh, that looks good. Let's put some party on that. Let's get rid of all this rust, you know? That way, get rid of all that cancer. That way it doesn't eat up all the metal. Yeah, this one needs it bad. This one needs it bad, too. Boom. Get you back to normal. Got the Griswold family car here, ready to rock and roll. Let's take that off. Throw that there. Let's pick this one up. Let's place that one there. Boom. So we need... That's it. Outfit the car. What does that even mean? Store cardboard boxes in the trunk. Oh, here we go. Okay, now we can start st uh, putting stuff away, right? So now we go here. All right. All right, everything's stored there. What do we got over here? We got a couple of uh, raft mats. All right. All right, now we can craft oh. in the car. There's a little prototype of mine in the garage the arc device hook it up to your car wherever it'll fit wouldn't it passenger side bro whoa this beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Damn, nobody has faith in me, man. Whoa, what's this? Pick up the impact hammer blueprint by the front garage door. One. So I wonder if we're gonna have like different stations like this so we can start fueling it up, you know? Put it on my car. Oh, what do we have here? What is this? Charging station. Take a look at the projector against the wall. This is the zone. This is the projector. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Oh, okay, so look. We got gas stations here. A little safe area here. Some rabbits. Dark, whatever that means. I'm assuming this is all bad right here. Which is wetland. This is probably bad. And I don't know what this is. But this looks maybe like wetlands. So, let's go to summer. Let's go here, right? It's already picked for us. Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Already. Looks like we're set to go. Looks like we got everything. Make a left. 
All right, we got this little whole map thing. It's like in the military. You know, your vehicles, you have all this stuff, your map routes and everything like that. Back when you were in Iraq, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right. Let's get to it, man. All right. All right, I guess we're off the area, right? Here, 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 there. Straight shot. Here we are. All right, we marked our destination. Your car is your shield. So we're just gonna have to cruise around and Down, see what we can into. I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. But that's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. Okay. So should we stop here or should we the go into the... The is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. All right, you know what? I'm going to leave it parked ready to rock and roll just in case we get sa uh, sandbagged here or something. So let's do that. This dude on freaking park. materials by any means necessary no one's coming back ever again so go on and take what you need transports homes outposts facilities they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87 most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area so loot to your heart's content just loot away okay anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Come on. Oh, what is this? Oh man, I clicked the wrong thing. Here we go. Chemicals, gas cylinder. Perfect. That's what we need. Let's get out of here. Let's create a beer. Let's craft that. Let's do two, three of those. Back hammer. Craft. Oh. Let's get out of here. All right, let's roll. Let's, um, because we need to go somewhere else. All right, I think we got everything we need to hear. Yes, we need to go to a different location. Oh, what is that? What is that? Is that going to attack me? What is that? What the hell is that? I don't know. I don't want to stick around and find out. Oh, look. We got more stuff right here. More antennas. Nice little area right here. I think this is what we need. Yo, I'm going to park it right here, man. I don't, I don't want to get stuck. I want the mud to drag me down. So let's park right here. Just in case we need a bell, you know? Whoa, it almost got me. Saw it. 
Are close. Too close. stations that ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts i've loaded its approximate location to your map look for an antenna tower up on a hill somewhere all right i'll do that all right let's head out let's look for that radio station where could it be let's say here gas overlook camping Oh shit, what the fuck was that? Get a bomb or something. What the hell is that? What is that doing? Bro, get away from me! Yo, I don't know what I what that thing does, but I'm getting the hell away from that. Oh no. Those are bombs, man. Yo, we're taking crazy damage. All right, let's let's just keep moving. I don't know there was much there to loot from, but we we, we just need to be on our toes. Overlook. Camping. We're almost there. I think it's right in here. Yeah, it is. Okay. Just be careful here. Just be safe. I still don't understand. I don't know what we're dealing with here. Like, I don't know if there's enemies or what. I know that thing attacked us, but I'm not 100% sure what it did. You know? What does it do? Like, alert people and shit? We're here. Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. Okay. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my arc device comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the arc device display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the arc device to charge it uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works you'll be out of here soon so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know so these were right here so i guess here and then here right like these two points all right so let's do this let's go let's go to these two right here first Let's let's go. this okay here's an anchor point now what take the anchor Here we go. 
Put that in there, bro. Your device is charged and ready. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage. But it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you are absolutely ready to leave. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. Okay, so what do I do now? Select the gateway coordinates of the map. So let's go to this one. Went the right way. Right now, what? You see that glowing pillar into the sky? Drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Oh, I see it now. Okay, okay, okay. So we gotta drive into that. What is, what is that? Like a portal? It's gonna jump us to somewhere else? Yo, man, this game is nuts. Okay, we're in it. Oh! Got to teleport into the garage. Zone didn't get you, that gateway would. Mm -hmm. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, there have been rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. What? So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Okay. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie, but it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place, mess up my equipment, and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear? Got it. Got it. Respect the area. All right, so this is kind of like a... Feels like a roguelike type of game. So we collect, we gotta keep going, moving around, collecting, leveling up. The whole nine. That's, that's the way it feels. What the hell? You can push me. Impact hammer. Oh, okay. We got we we got something here. What's up with that? We could do all kinds of improvements here. Okay. And where does this go now? On top? While it's raining? Over here like Doc Brown on freaking Back to the Future. Working on a storm on the on the on the freaking clock, you know. What is it that we gotta get? One point two one gigawatts. One point twenty one gigawatts. One point twenty one gigawatts. Great Scott. Okay, we got one ten. Look at that! How fast we did that! Antenna signals coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. Okay. Better not get hit by freaking lightning here. Okay, what do we got? Handbrake. Here we go. Wow. 
Alright, let's take that. Let's drop that. And break in there. Alright, let's pop that in there. Boom. Make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. You got it. Yo, this game's pretty good. I like it. It's pretty chill, pretty relaxing. It's different. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, this game was pretty good, pretty interesting. So we're going to drop it off here, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.